Welcome in. I have invited Zip back with me. Fan favorite, Woods Darling. Mwah. The one and only. Uh, we're going to start up a new series for you today. This is going to be Woods Greatest Battles. I have no idea how often we'll do these, but <laughs> it sounded like a fun idea. Uh, yeah. rel- relatively easy to... Uh, I mean, we track all the replays. We have them all, so... Lots yeah, to pull from. Scouring. Yeah, I lots can't to guarantee pull from. I'll be sick as fuck. For, uh, <laughs> but uh, right now, I have nothing but time. Hell yeah! So, um, if you have any ideas for videos or matches we should cover, please let us know. Leave a comment or tell us on in woods or whatever. Uh, but this one, okay. So we're starting <laughs> off with a doozy. This is season eight. Finals, Vandosaurus versus Shibzi, and there is this is, in my opinion, one of the greatest battles that Woods has ever seen. I think this is my favorite battle I've ever watched live, ever. And if you watched the full battle, you were committed. You were committed. Yeah. Uh, I was sweating. <laughs> no spoilers, but this is going to be well above the triple digit mark for turret <laughs> well <laughs> well so okay. uh, a little bit of context um both of these coaches went seven and two in the regular season so they had very strong seasons um i'm actually just gonna go ahead and click play because this is such a long yeah it's a good call we can pause it if need be yeah oh and actually i i just hit the music as well uh one <laughs> second it made me think of something I'm so sorry. This is very organized, yeah, can you can tell. I can hear it now, it's awesome. Oh, you can? Is it too loud? No, it's great. Okay. It's making me think of this, dude. <laughs> Whenever I hear this song, I can only think of Furred. Oh, all I'm seeing- oh, are you playing the Furred walking meme? Yeah, <laughs> <Fair. laughs> You know, because it's like the- whatever that black and white song is. Yeah, what is this? Uh, Accumula Town, that's what it is. Okay, that's anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, the viewers love this. All 69 of them. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, some context. Uh, these two did play in the regular season. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't remember exactly what happened, but it's, it says it was a 5-0 for Shivzy, actually. Yeah, I remember talking to Vando after that game. Um, he did not know Ditto couldn't copy through Substitute. So he switched into a subbed up Dragapult, expecting to steal its uh, its Infiltrator, and basically just win after that. All right, so it was just a, he didn't understand the mechanic. Yeah. Right, so. so he made some great changes here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I just looked at it, it was a 16 turn game. So quite the, quite the change. We're not even talking about these first turns. Like, you can watch on screen and see what's happening. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, Normally you'd think it's a huge fucking deal that I, you just lost Mega Glade, but it's not. You would. And I do like that they both have a slow bro or a slow king. A slow... Slow. How do you say that? What the hell? They both have right. a slow? Uh, yeah. Are you a <laughs> member of the slow family? Yeah, well, I wanted to say they were like brothers, like slow bros, but that's actually the Pokemon. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, Vando didn't bring his kill leader, which was Tyrantrum. I believe it won like the low tier or mid tier MVP. It had yeah. to have. Yeah. It ran away with it. I don't think anything else got a vote. Right. And then Mega Heracross on Shibzy's team is actually an emote because in Woods, the kill leader each season we make into an emote, the coach gets to like pick it out and it's a pretty big deal. Uh, yeah. So this was definitely a clash of the Titans. I mean, these were the two best coaches of that season for sure. Hey, wait, uh, will you pause real quick and go to turn 15? I didn't realize that Shivzy was playing mind games this whole game. Yeah, turn 15. Okay. It says... The struggles you have with the sets I bring, with the sets I use. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Yeah, I don't, it's a well, stall joke, but still. We're gonna get into more of what Shivji said later. There's a definitely something I want to bring up 
<laughs> I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. I do, I do indeed. Oh, man, that is hilarious. Okay, so we're at turn 19 right now. Um, I mean, it looks like Shivzy has an advantage, right? Uh, Mega Glade being down is a huge deal. He toxicked... Uh, or no, he missed the toxic on Moltres, I'm sorry. He got it later, though. Right, and he did... He did get the um, choice scarf switcheroo onto Klevki, right? So that you know is a big deal because Klevki doesn't like to be choice locked. It likes to do a lot of annoying things, right? We are watching Anyways. some offense here. Actually, Flygon took down uh, two members and nearly took out Mega Heracross. Yeah, wow! I didn't realize that Flygon kind of. I, in. I didn't realize there was offense this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, uh, I guess something had to die somehow. <laughs> yeah, it, once I'm actually going to put this up the fast just because we do have a ton of turns to get through. Roughly um, 200. Yeah, I want to get to at least th there's a, there's a point I want to get to. It's about 20 turns from now or so. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, we're already at four three, and you're and you're thinking, all right, this this game is looking rough. I mean, Vando is down to Slowbro, Moltres, and Ditto. You know, there's there's not a lot of headway you can make with that offensively, or at least you would think. Right, unless, like, Shivzy messes up and gives him a free Dragapult or something. Right, which he does have uh, two great offensive threats in Mega Heracross and Dragapult. He's got Blissey and Gliscor, which is impossible to break, especially when you're, you know, you look at the mods he has left. He lost Gallade, he lost Flygon, so certainly an uphill yeah. battle. For our, yeah, for our I, boy Vando. I remember it looked bad for Vando right here. Jared joining 38 turns in saying good luck, not knowing what the hell he's getting into. Oh, you poor lad. <laughs> you poor lad. Um, yeah, so I think is this is the first time we've seen Dragapult come into on the field. Yeah, because Life Orb. Oh, the, it's gone. the crit ice beam. I have no idea if that mattered or not. Uh, okay. I, know, I do know that Vando brought specs. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he did it in this game. You just see the miss rock blast. They both missed. Okay, we're going to pause here. We are on turn 45. There is a Ditto and a Moltres versus a Gliscor and a Blissey. What could possibly happen? What could possibly go wrong with this? Um, oh my God. It might even be better to put this on hyper fast. I'm not sure how fast that would be. I, I want the people to be able to see what's actually happening here, but... Yeah, I think it's a lot of this. You look at it, and it's like, okay, Moltres is poisoned. Ditto can only become a Gliscor and a Blissey. How are we going to possibly make progress, right? And we've already right. been revealed to all of Blissey's moves. It has natural cure, so it's not like it can be toxic by uh, Ditto. We have fucking Poison Heal Gliscor... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just it's interesting so and I remember it took a while for a lot of the people because there was a voice chat going on watching this that's it right took a while for us all to realize that ditto gets 5 PP for every move for what it copies every time it comes in so there was a moment there where we realized ditto has infinite PP if Vando plays right absolutely so and that is the that is ultimately what's going to help Vando here. Uh, so Shivzy is one of the first and really only people who proudly plays stall in woods. Most people are pretty anti stall. Yeah. I have I'm pretty indifferent. I think stall is a fine strategy. I don't get tilted by it. Uh, there's a lot mm -hmm. of counterplay, especially in drafts. Exactly. But uh, it certainly can be frustrating to deal with. And Shivzy yeah. has no problems resorting. To that play style, you know, he'll he'll do what it takes to get a W, basically. Hell yeah, I respect it. We are actually gonna put this on hyper fast. <laughs> I think we can <laughs> yeah. still I think we can still get an idea of what's going on here. Um, it's just amazing to me that Vando was able to keep Moltres alive for so long. Because if it was yeah. because you do need a second Pokemon, right? To mm -hmm take advantage of what you were talking about with Ditto and it's infinite PP. Right. Um, 
<laughs> I'm just laughing, dude, because this, this match, like, you have to imagine if it wasn't in playoffs, and if it, especially if it wasn't the finals, would they have had the energy to do this? Uh, I know most of Woods was uh, calling on you and Woodsy to put a stop to this. I, know <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do anything. I default to the owl and his his word. But, man, I think at a certain point, too, Shivzy just starts to switch out instead of use his PP. Right. But it's like... Yeah, because that is a way to, for like... For stall teams, their end game a lot of the time is just switching out, so they don't waste their PP. It's insane. Right. I don't know and if you there was, um, there was a a concern in chat that uh, Vando was starting to use his fire blast on Moltres because if you could land one on Gwiskor in the right situation, it could win the game. Right, and you only have eight of them. That's the uh, that's the tricky part. Right. And we the other crazy thing too is he only so. Imagine if Shivji had brought rock coverage, like rock slide or something on Gliscor. He only right. has U-turn and Earthquake for attacks. Um, Sheesh. Yeah. So is Whimsicott his defogger in this? Or did he just not care? The only thing he did was... Uh, oh, actually... Um, okay, interesting. He only clicked Switcheroo on... Whimsicott. Right. All Whimsicott did was get the Choice Scarf on a Cluffy, which, to be fair, is actually a pretty nice thing. What did you say yeah. there? Hold on. Let's pause. Yeah, I said something a couple turns ago. Okay, so um, we had Roger Buster Aspire. Um, I don't have. I have no idea what you said, but Spire it was is a couple th turns ago. I said something. I said something about Moltres. I think Aspire has the best mentality. I swear, man. He misses a, a move or some like legitimate bullshit happens to him, and he's like, oh, it's part of the game. Exactly, and it is. It is. I get it. Yeah, I mean, I love... I that That's a sidetrack, but I love how strong he is in that regard. Like, Oh, hell yeah. He, he gauges the risk-reward. He, like, he clicks Stone Edge and misses. He's like, oh, yeah, that was part of the gamble. <laughs> he does not mm -hmm. get mad at all. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, um, I'm just hydrating so I don't waste away overnight. Oh, you're good, dude. Uh, <laughs> I encourage everyone to drink more water. We are Hydro Homies, Zip and I. Go subscribing, car carrying members. Yes, sir. Also, okay, so I watched our last video. This is also another sidebar. But my square was cheek, uh, squeaking a lot, so I'm trying not, <laughs> I'm trying not to move too far back. <laughs> My girlfriend did notice that. She came home, I was watching, and she goes, what is that? I said, oh, it's a Kuda's chair. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, viewers of the last video, I'm trying to be better. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wish I had more to say about the actual match, but well, they're yeah, kind of just... This was a battle fought in the wings, I think. <laughs> What's crazy is that Shivzy's own stally nature finally in the finals came back to bite him in the ass a little bit. Right. <laughs> because because his two final remaining Pokemon are Blissey and Gliscor, which can heal, he can just switch yeah. into Ditto and heal as well. Exactly. And it's like, what do you do? You can't toxic the Ditto, because if he transforms into Gliscor, then he's healing, right? That's how that works. And if he, even if he switches out, he's still poisoned, but if he switches in on uh, Blissey, he just switches out and gets natural cure anyway. Dude, it's so insane. And just, like, the mental fortitude to... Because it's like you mess up once or twice, and you mm -hmm. lose. Like, you make a mistake. Um, and that's why we... Like, this this match was a huge meme right after it happened. Like, everyone was joking. But, like, Vando played this Moltres damn near perfectly. Yeah, I will say... Um, I don't know. We're going to get to it soon. I'm I'm pretty sure. So there's a point <laughs> there's a point where Shivzy was like, Okay, bro, duo champs. Let's just let's just forfeit. There's there's obviously no end game here. Right. Let's uh let's be co champs. And I was, I was screaming for Vando not to take that offer. <laughs> everyone. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay. 
I saw chat last turn. Uh, where are we at? No. Oh my gosh. Technical difficulties. I mean, Showdown's UI is uh, not known for being fantastic. Or is it at? I may have went back too far. There it is. Okay, so on the right. <laughs> This is this is when I knew shit was real because I, if I remember correctly, I was at work or something, so I wasn't actively watching this, right? But I started getting blown up, and I assume Woodsy was pretty much every mod, so Jordy as well. Here's the offer, Shivzy. At two hundred turns, you want to call it a draw, and Vando at first was like, actually, yeah, you know what? Fuck this. This is this is cancer. Let's just be <laughs> <Right>. chips. <laughs> We're at turn 164. We've made literally no progress in over 100 turns. <laughs> There's so much more. There's so much more. Ugh. And so... Because we can actually be here forever. And that's not exactly true. It feels like forever. And Specs... Right. Oh. Specs. The hero he is. says, Vando, no, you win. Do not, right. do not tra take the draw. It's bait. Even Timber. He's right. Shout out to Timber. Believe in yourself. Don't give up. Look at this shit. This is wholesome as hell. <laughs> you will not awesome. find this. What other server for draft leagues are you going to find a 164 turn match where people are being this wholesome? People who have been eliminated, too, by these guys. Facts. So, anyways, <laughs> there's going to be a little bit more chatter in the on the side about that at some point as well. Um, but I, I do know Vando was considering it, right? He was like, mm -hmm. until he realized, wait, I think that is when he realized I can actually just stall him out. <laughs> right. So, uh, Specs was with me in the voice chat and, um, I, I'm, I'm sure Specs knew this cause Specs is a genius, but I didn't know about the ditto PP exploit. And so he and I both kind of said it at the same time. I was like, oh shit, right. Like ditto gets essentially infinite pp if moltres lives right cause and it, it and, just refreshes right and so. that um that happened that realization in voice chat happened when uh shivzy offered the draw and like you know i have a i have a dming theory crafting relationship with vando on the side and i didn't want to be <laughs> like hey i didn't want to play favorites and be like no dude like you win but specs i think he did the right thing man just saying like no no, that's like, because I'm not saying Shivzy had any like shady intentions or anything like that. But Specs was like, no, dude, this this battle can end, and it's when Shivzy runs out of PP, you win. Right? Yeah. I mean, you don't want to provide any kind of like mid game coaching, like right before the match if you want to help them prep, or after the match you want to give tips or whatever. That's all f fair game. But I think if you were doing that in the middle of a match, that's kind of it would have felt bad. It yeah, been bad. it's not cool because then it's like, well, Chevy's like, what the hell, man? Like, where yeah, was then my? Yeah, he's playing two guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I can't believe this is still going. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Like, I just love. I feel like I've said it three times, but the mental fortitude. I'm gonna have to find, by the way, a thumbnail of like a duff, a buff ass ditto, like. <laughs> and that's just gonna be the thumbnail is like just well, Uzi's ripped. your guy because Uzi is drafting oh. the fairy bait team in IBL I'm sure he can dig up a, a creepy ditto well, I don't want it to be creepy I just want it to be like buff you know you don't want it to be completely off footing no I don't shout out Uzi for undergoing that mental torture just for the sake of drafting me a fun meme, meme team we love Uzi we actually we, we stand Uzi in these these parts yeah I'm gonna check the PP count here. So, Gliscor is running out of earthquakes. It's got two left. And what's crazy is when it transforms into Gliscor, earthquake literally does nothing. On top of that. Well, and his other his other mon is Moltres too. And like, yeah. I think there was there was a while there where uh, we realized that Shivzy was purposely wasting earthquake PP Bro. on Moltres, or when Ditto was Gliscor, and if he had. I'm not, I don't think it would have done much, but there were a couple turns, like literally 100 turns ago, where Blissey, uh, Ditto was kind of low as Blissey, 
And I don't know, the Choice Scarf probably played a role in that. So, we, we were saying if he could predict an earthquake or something like that, it would... So what's crazy uh, is, I just realized that Shivzy brought Soft Boiled and Wish on Blissey. He's out of Wishes. He's got about eight Soft Boils left. Moltres mm -hmm. is sitting at only four roosts. I think there's a world where Shivzy could have just kept switching back and forth. Because it's not like Vando is really applying offensive pressure. He's just kind of waiting him out. Right. Because he can just keep stealing Blissey and Gliscor's moves. So he's right. just... Wi oh, actually, no, that's the meme. He's wishing to Moltres. Holy exactly. shit. Exactly. Yeah. He just did that when we were saying it. Yeah, so I guess... Okay, I guess Moltres could keep healing then because i was like why didn't shifty just wait out the roost but he craft shifty crafted his own demise he built a box put himself inside it and oh there he says <laughs> there he said it he goes i think that do be gg a couple turns ago shifty said it yeah good game my guy i you love the sportsmanship right it, it would be so easy to be salty with this yeah, right easily um yeah that was that was such a fun battle. I, I was not able to watch it live, but just the fact that it happened. and I love Vando letting himself pop off in the chat after a 271-turn finals. Well-deserved. I think if I play 271 turns and came out on top, I you know you have every right to well, pop and you're off. right. It did take a lot of mental fortitude because I'm, I'm thinking of myself in Vando's shoes here. I'm just going to start clicking random fucking buttons. Like, <laughs> Yeah, at some point your brain just gets fried, or at least mine does. Right. <laughs> like, he played it beautiful. Like, he did everything. We, we didn't even, like, slow it down enough to actually go over just how smart he was about picking his spots and constantly keeping Moltres healed and just everything he did. But right, man, he just, he played it perfect. Honestly, like he really did. I was super impressed. And Vando is like 16. <laughs> this is also a guy, <laughs> Chris Collinsworth. Now here's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't he beat like, Dark Souls with his feet or something, isn't that true? He did. He beat Dark Souls three with his with his feet, and then he did a left hand only run. He's right handed, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so if Shivzy thought he was going to come in here and be able to beat Vando, he was wrong. He was wrong as hell. <laughs> you offered this man a deal. He willingly played Dark Souls three with his feet and beat it. And beat it. God, that's crazy. What a chance. do that? I'm actually going to bring over... I have it on the side. Uh, this was his full team and his stats. Let's zoom in just a little. Oh, I've still got the uh, replay. Oh, it doesn't show you this? Yeah. Oh, you can't see it? Okay, well, he had a cool team. Dude, he he had Vespa Queen and he never brought it. That's actually a shame. Yeah, because you know, like, you know me, I love me some Vespa Queen. I think it's the best one, one point mod by far. Yeah, no, it's super good. But yeah, um, that was Vandal vs. Shivzy, Season 8 Finals. Uh, I'd love to do some more of these. So, again, if you can think of any great battles, I already have a few that I know I'd like to, oh, yeah. to go There's over. And, instant classics. And they're not all 271 turns. <laughs> They're, I'd, I'd yeah. say none of them are. <laughs> yeah, they're all a little bit more reasonable, so we might be able to give more context and uh, for as far as the actual match goes. But thanks for tuning this one in. Would have been leaning over us, though. I'm glad we did this one. Oh yeah, I was super excited to do this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I one of my favorite matches, not just in woods that I've ever seen. <laughs> for competitive pokemon i mean i loved it man i'm so glad i was working from home at the time and i was on like a break and i got to watch the whole thing it took a long time dude i think we were in there for like an hour an hour and a half i believe it I, and shivzy was one of those players too so if you remember wasn't it him and mandem who had like a uh what was oh, it? oh a timer <laughs> they had a timer dispute because it was taking so long or something but it wasn't like the actual game. It's just um, one of them was taking a long time to pick a move or something. Well, they both did it. 
<laughs> um, without, without naming any names, someone was taking a long time. The other one said, this is ridiculous. I'm going to go make lunch. <laughs> so the other guy made his play after taking a long time, and then it waited another 15 minutes while the other guy went and made lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I love the people awards. Never changed. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're going to sign off. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time.